This is King Nazaru, back to the review for Rosario Vampire 2, Chapter 57. Kokua and Kalua start pairing each other, uh, attack, with Kalua starting to struggle this time. Uh, but Kalua manages to get a hard kick in the, uh, I mean, I mean, delivers a hard kick in the face to, uh, Kokua. And Kokua commends her strength. Uh, she is also glad that she can now fight on par with Kalua. And Kalua notes that Kokwa's uh, attacks are a lot more brutal than she expected. And uh, on top of uh, how heavy her sword is, uh, her wings won't be able to sustain that much damage. For them. And if she takes a direct hit, uh, it's going to be all over. Uh, Gyokuro uh, then gets pissed off and impatient and tells her daughter to kill Kokoa. And uh, she also reminds her that she gave Kalua special training in combat, sword, assassination, language, manners, medics, pharmaceuticals, uh, procedures, uh, etc. Because she, she is supposed to hold the pride of the Sh Shuzen family as its heir. And she can't lose to someone like Kokoa. Wow. I... I mentioned in the last video that the family looked down on Kokwa, but damn, did they look down on her. Uh, she then sh starts to show the Shuzen's prowess uh, with, her with her agents getting the upper hand on Haji and Gen. Then uh, she orders her husband's men to kill Toha Fuhai and Ling Ling. Aiza says that he knows uh, Toha Fuhai has shortened his lifespan and can't fight at full power. Toha Fuhai uh, thinks it's shameful that the uh, head of the Shuzen and family takes orders from his wife, and he's also starting to suspect that this not, might not be the actual Aiza Shuzen since he would have a bit more pride than that. But the alleged Aiza says uh, it's to instruct his family towards the proper path. Then the uh, Aiza sends his men, but uh, Tohao uses Jigentao to take them away, then calls Aiza a, sh uh, a shell and sneaks attacks him. And Gyokuro is stunned by just how potent the Jigentao is used by Tohao Fuhai and is able to level a huge chunk of the uh, Fairy Tail HQ. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Toa Fuhai on this one. That is definitely not Isaac Shuzen, because I definitely know that Isaac Shuzen could put up a better fight. Anyway, uh, Gen and Haji uh, get excited, and they decide to cut loose and turn into their true fo monster forms, which is a werewolf and a Tengu crow. And it turns out that Haji's uh, species, the Tengu crow, are known for loving children. See? I promised you. There was going to be a legitimate explanation why Haji is so excessively in love with Kokoa. It's just his species, uh, it's his species way. Anyway, uh, Gyokuro, uh, orders a charge, but Gen's best, uh, best of all with his, uh, werewolf speed uh, enhanced by the full moon. And she then tells the, uh, the, the agents to group up so they can counter the speed, but Haji, uh, takes them out with a gale punch, which is, which are punches that can actually create tornadoes. Okay. There, I've heard of tornado kicks, but I have never heard of tornado punches. And a punch that can create a tornado is fucking awesome in my book. I love this series. Yeah. Anyway, Gyo Kuro then gets nervous and starts to threaten, uh, threatening everyone, I mean, Gen and Haiji to stop, but she is, uh, ignored and she sees her agents are defeated. And once she sees that, and sees that the Shuzen family, uh, uh, honor has started to crumble, she's snaps. And then we see the tentacles start popping from from her agent's eyes and mouth, and Gen take, uh, Gen has to take a blow, uh, for Haji. And he gets impaled. 
Haji's confused why uh, the monsters they were fighting weren't, aren't normal vampires. And Giyakuru explains that they're her adorable creatures. Another great chapter. We got to see that, uh, see just what a, um, more or less a great leader uh, Giyakuru can be because she knows how to do uh, competent tactics uh, when faced with adversity. Granted, she didn't do so well because the opponents were overbearing in power. Uh, we also got to see, it was also seen a nice bit to get uh, more explanation on some of the, on the behavior of Haiji. And it was nice to see Gen and Haiji kick a lot of ass in their true forms. And it, and it does explain a, a reason why uh, Isa Shusen was working for Gia Curl. It was actually an imposter. And uh, let's see what else. And it's also nice to see that Koko is still uh, on the offensive against Kalua and actually giving her a run for her money. So those were the uh, those were the two chapters. The next video, I got a little update for Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse.